Hi, everybody, and welcome to Sanctum Stitching, where modern meets vintage. This is a special edition episode where it is me, Fawn, and my husband, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to talk to you today about the Black Needle Society Frogwarts gift box that I won through different events that I participated in during Frogwarts year two. So if you don't know, the Black Needle Society is a... Uh, subscription box service and they also so they have month or bi-monthly subscription boxes they have a vault where you can buy the overstock items um, and then they also have retreats that they host and I think they do have in-person retreats but right now they've been online and one of the online retreats that I attended was Frogwarts which is a parody of Harry Potter so Frogwarts Hogwarts and it is, I think it was Wednesday night through Sunday night. And it was a lot. <laughs> Let me tell you, I participated in every single event except for Quidditch. Quidditch was a team sport and it being my first retreat with the Black Needle Society. I, I didn't want to throw myself into a team activity if I like didn't want to participate, you know. So what I ended up doing... Uh, was participating in everything else. And so when I attend next year, because for sure, especially with such the amazing time that I had, I will 100% be attending the next Frogwarts retreat for year three. I already told work that when I take off a week in July or June or July, whenever the retreat is, that they'll know that I'm competitive cross-stitching. <laughs> <laughs> Which was its own discussion because they're like competitive cross stitch. Is that a real thing? I was like, of course, it's a real thing. <laughs> so that said, um, some of the events that you could do in Frogwarts, and I know a lot of people have already talked about the retreat, but since I am going to do an unboxing of the gifts, I wanted to sort of explain what I actually participated in to win these prizes. So the first... I had to make notes so I wouldn't forget. Mm -hmm. uh, the first is a stash dive. And so a stash dive is literally where you, I personally, I was literally diving through my stash. So patterns, um, stitching supplies. And what happens is you get a prompt. And I should say, Sean didn't attend the retreat, but he did bring me food because I was so <laughs> into the frog warts that like, I wasn't getting up to eat. I was competitively stitching and that was all I was doing. <laughs> all she was doing. <laughs> yeah, he would text me or whatever and like, be like, do you want something? Do you want this? And I couldn't even answer because I was in it. <laughs> um, but that's it. So stash dives. Stash dives were where they would give you prompts. Everything that they did was related to the Chamber of Secrets year two of Harry Potter. And so we would get prompts like find patterns that have a beach ball on it, an umbrella, um, the word summer. And then if something was in quotations, you would have to literally find something that said summer or the different months of the year. And so you had to dig through all of your stash and make sure that you were finding the right item. You can only use an item once to fit a prompt. So even if you had the Halloween Quaker and you had, I don't know, you had the word fall and you also had a bat, you can only use the pattern once. So you had to really, you had to have enough stash to be able to make it, to do it. Um, but it was all on a time crunch. So you had to dig through your stash, you had to upload your pictures and you had to annotate your pictures in a certain amount of time. And it is stressful. Um, so most of the time that I was doing the retreat, Sean was working, but sometimes he wasn't. And you definitely watched me do a, a stash dive. And I was like silent in the zone. He tried to ask me a question. I was like, no, no, you, I need these 15 minutes of silence. Not for you. <laughs> in 15 minutes, I can help you. Is that was? I would say that you were extremely focused and very determined. You were constantly like, I would come back and like, do you want? And you're like, like she's studying. Like taking photos, <laughs> right? like searching charts, scanning the whole thing. Um, 
at one point I actually, I literally got rug burn because <laughs> they asked for a stitching related item that I think it was a compass or a ship's wheel or something like that. And I happened to have a needle minder that was in a, a ship's wheel and it was in the table, which was not where it was in the same room. Cause it all has to be in one room, but it was, I had the table turned. And so the drawer of the table was facing away from me and I was running out of time. And at the last minute before the time was up, I remembered the ship. I'm going to call it a ship's wheel because I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And I remember what it was. And I, I dived from where I was on the floor. So like over here, I had all my patterns laid out everywhere. If I remember, I'll upload a photo to the end of the aftermath of what the stash dive looked oh, like. Boy. It He did not like that. <laughs> um. But anyway, I, do I dove from where I was sitting on the floor across the table, yanked open the drawer while I was still kneeling on the floor on the other side of the table, grabbed the needle minder, flopped back over to the other side of the table, took my photo, uploaded it, and then time was up. I was like, this is intense. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Um, that said... I participated really hard and I won one of the stash dies. So for each of the things you can only win once you can participate many times um, for each of the challenges to earn house points and compete for the MVP at the end of the challenge, but you can only win the individual the individual events once. So that said, I won one of the stash dives. One of the other events, did you have anything to say about Anything else to add? I just want to say she was very competitive and in the zone. I mean, I just looked at the dining room that we have and I was looking and I'm like, all right, and she's beginning, she's beginning. And then I would turn away for one second to put away a dish and then I look and I'm like, do you want? And I'm like an explosion. The like whole a, floor is covered. I'm like, what happened here? I think I'm going to give you some time. <laughs> <laughs> so I just... I just saw her tenacity and her competitiveness. I was like, all right, she's in it. I was like, I know I've seen that motif before. Now where is it? <laughs> um, so one of the other events was pop-up challenges. So we had a Discord. We also had Facebook posts. And you could, for example, if they said like, share a GIF or an emoji of a Christmas tree and you shared, then they would randomly pick however many people that shared the Christmas tree um, to win a prize. And it was out of this like really cool prize bucket that they had. And, um, Katie just like stuck her hand in, like flailed around for a little bit and then out popped a prize for you. It was really fun. And so I won one of those. And each time I won this stuff, I was shocked because there's so many people competing, right? There's so many people just in the retreat itself that you don't think like, Oh, I'm going to win. And then you don't think I'm going to win twice or three times, or in my case, I think it was four times that I won different events and I, I was shocked. So like, I think other people were shocked that my name kept coming up, but I was sitting here just like, are you kidding me? Like, really? It, and I shared on our channel before that it's been a really hard year for us and our family. And so to have won these things, it it lit me up. I, I, and I'm sure I'll say this again when I actually get to the unboxing, but I love the Black Needle Society and they are so generous, especially because to get this box full, to be able to win multiple prizes and like really, really good prizes. I, I can't say thank you enough to them. So anyway, Stash Dive, um, pop-up prize. And I told Sean right before we started, I was like, oh, this won't be too long. Like we'll whip right through this. And then we can get back to watching Survivor because we, we just ate dinner. We got burritos and we always stitch together while we watch Survivor. And so that's what we we're about to do. I was like, no, you know, this box has been in the house for two days and I have not <laughs> opened it because I want to film and I wanted to film with Sean. And we were about to just start binging Survivor and that couldn't happen. So um the other the other events that you could participate in was an on a digital stash dive 
And so instead of spreading out across your entire living room or whatever room that you had stationed yourself in, you had a certain amount of time to meet prompts and find items that meet those prompts for a certain amount of points. And you had to find them all online. So on Etsy shops, on 123Stitch, on independent stitching shop websites, take your photos, upload them, annotate them all within the same amount of time. And so it was the same sort of thing. You had to find um, project bags with golf balls on them, I think was one of the prompts, um, a spider charm. But the fun part about the digital dives is you could find more than one, as long as they weren't the same item, you could find multiple things to fit a prompt for um, certain points. So say for, I don't remember exactly, but say, each spider charm that you find, different unique spider charms that you can find would be five, for example, five points each. And so if I found, I could find 10 different spider charms and that could be what I spent my time on to get a certain amount of points, or I could fill out the rest of their list and try to see what I could do. Some of the other prompts that I think they had was because this was back in, I think it was July, wasn't it? Was it? July. it was July. This is now almost the end of August for us. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't remember exactly. Um, but I think it was like blue, fine blue floss or green fabric or something like that. And, you know, there's a lot of green fabrics <laughs> or a lot of blue flosses. So you could choose to spend your time gathering points for one item with like a lower value, or you can try to find things that are more difficult that are, have a higher point value because it's Harry Potter, it's Frogwarts. The whole point is to try to get as many house points as you can possibly have. And so everything you're doing is gathering your house points. So surprise, <laughs> I want a digital die. <laughs> I, um, I really, really enjoyed those. The first one I did, I failed miserably because I, it didn't really click to me that I could find multiple of the same object or similar objects of spider charms or cabin cross stitch kits um i would i just found one try to find one of each item on the list and so then after the first one they re-explained and it like it clicked for me and i was like okay we can find these cabin cross stitch kits or which actually i didn't I didn't get the points for the, I remember cabin specifically. I didn't get the points for the cabin cross stitch kits because I totally didn't read the whole thing. And I thought it said cabin cross stitch. And if you go to one, two, three stitch and you search for cabin cross stitch, you can find a lot, like a lot, a lot. And they're all different. And I, I think on the next line, or I just totally missed it. It was cabin cross stitch kits. So I found a ton of cabin cross stitch and I'm sorry, Athena, that you had to grab that or grade that because I didn't read the kit part. <laughs> <laughs> so my bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, once it, it, they ex re-explained it, I think it clicked for a lot of us that we could find multiples of the same object, similar objects, which is really, really fun to do. Um, and then... So we had the stash dives, the pop-up challenge, the online stash dives. And then part of the rest of the retreat was stitching challenges where you had an hour to stitch as many stitches as you could get. And if they would give you a prompt. So for example, I remember one of them was stitch on a cross stitch pattern with a sock. So if you had a pattern that had a sock on it, which we all did because that was the there was a sock on the pattern that was released with the retreat. It was one house point for every 25 stitches if you stitched for the prompt. So if I stitched on an item that had a sock in this case, I would get one house point for every 25 stitches. And if I didn't stitch on an item that Mitch met the prompt, so didn't have a sock, it would be one house point for every 50 stitches. Mm -hmm. So it's really in your best interest to look through the whole list ahead of time and plan what you're going to stitch when and how to um, sort of what's the best point to make sure you're getting those stitches in to meet the prompts all the time. And if you can't meet the prompts, then it's kind of a blow because that's a big difference having 25 stitches extra. Um, 
But I think for the most part, most of us did meet, were able to find projects to meet the prompts along the way. And so then the easiest way to get a lot of house points when you were stitching in those challenges was to load up a couple needles with a couple different colors. So if I knew I was gonna need a blue, a green, and a yellow, I would load up a needle with each of those flosses, usually a long length. And I would end up in a section that I knew I didn't have to color change a lot. So for one of the projects, I was just stitching the border for I think it was the Frogwarts retreat. The Frogwarts retreat pattern at the bottom, there's all these diamonds. And when you're focused and trying to just stitch for an hour and get as many as you can, you can get a lot of that diamond done with just one color. Or I was stitching on another pattern. I had grass to fill in. So before the challenges started, I filled out the grass or filled out the outline of the grass. And then during the challenge, I didn't have to look at the pattern at all. I could just stitch straight across my rows of grass. And it was also easy to count that okay. way because I, I would know exactly how many were across in a line or whatever it was. Um, the way I should say, the way that you prove what you're doing is they give you a password right before the start of each challenge, like five minutes or less before. You have to take a photo of your piece with the password written on a piece of paper. So there's no fudge in it. You truly are showing this is where I'm at. This is the password and it meets the prompt or it doesn't meet the prompt. You post it the second, at least for a lot of us, we were in the Zoom room together or the Facebook room. And right as it would hit like 12 or one o'clock, whatever the challenge was, it was dead silent. And all you would see if you ever looked up at the chat, you would just see everybody's head down and the hands moving furiously because you would have your photo posted and you'd be ready to go. And so then at the end of the challenge, so the end of the hour, you would really quickly take another photo of where you're at and be able to count your stitches across or whatever section you were in. And then you would post your ending photo with a number of stitches and that a number of house points you think that you earned. And I'll tell you for a lot of us, um, I know when we, the retreat ended, it was like Monday and we started stitching. A lot of us were like, oh, well, where's my stitching room? Like we, in some of the cases, we weren't necessarily talking to each other, especially during the challenges, but it was so nice to be in the room, just knowing that other people are stitching and are furiously stitching just like you are. And then I know that Monday, so the retreat ended on Sunday, Monday, I, didn't even think about it. I took a photo of my stitch right before I started. And then I got maybe five, 10 minutes into it. And I was like, why did I take that photo? I didn't have a password, but it was so ingrained to me by the end of like, I don't know if it was 20 stitching challenges, 24. It was a lot of stitching challenges. And by the end, by the time you do that for all those hours in a row, you it's second nature to, <laughs> to start taking pictures of your before and after. Um, Sarah, um, Memphis, Sarah E, her and I, once the challenge, the I oh, can't talk today. It's getting late. It's nine o'clock here. Um, once the retreat had ended, we had actually started sending pictures back and forth to each other of our before trying to stitch as much as we could. And then, um, send another picture to each other because it was motivating to, have your own sort of like power hour or power couple hours to prove to someone that look this is where I started and this is where I got to and if I sort of have this accountability with you I can stitch a lot more than I thought I could um so that said the stitching challenges you can earn especially if you participate in every one of them which I did you can end up earning quite a few house points um meeting those prompts and filling in large sections of color that you've already outlined when you don't have to look at the chart and you already have your needles loaded. So a couple tips in there, um, but don't worry, I'm gonna go to the next, the year three. So I'm gonna bring those tips with me. So if you wanna, you want to, um, you wanna battle it out for the MVP, I'll, I'll be there and I I'm ready. Know. I don't know, <laughs> I'll pick her up on that challenge. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> oh my gosh. People are going to have like 50 needles loaded now for so every color, multiple of the same color and just be ready to go. They're going to have their whole pattern outlined and only have to do fill in. 
yeah competition oh, for man. sure um and so then oh the uh, one other thing that you could do and i might be missing something but i think i got it all to earn house points was to finish patterns so i finished the frog warts year two pattern during the retreat and as long as you finish it during the retreat you get a certain number of house points um because it's been so long i can't remember exactly how many but it, it was a big chunk and really boosts you up. And you can also, it doesn't even have to be the retreat pattern that you could finish. If you can prove that you stitch, I think it was at least a hundred stitches during the retreat on your pattern by posting your before and after photos um, with passwords for proof and that sort of thing. Um, you can get house points based on the size of your pattern. So if it was a small pattern, you would get a few house points. If it was a really big pattern that you finished during the retreat, you would get more house points. So that was a really fun thing. All that said, which I think we've been recording for a while now. So you came here to see the unboxing and I'm still talking. Um, I ended up winning the overall MVP of Ooh. Frog Wars year two. Oh man. When they said my name, I, <laughs> we were, it was late. And because the retreat is so intensive, we would, start i'm eastern time so we would start at nine o'clock and we would go till 1 a.m or 9 a.m to 1 a.m and i would crawl in bed and once you're stitching and you have your light on next to you for all those hours and you crawl in bed at one o'clock in the morning at least for me i couldn't fall asleep so then i'd lay there for a couple hours finally fall asleep and then have to get up and do the stitching challenges <laughs> for the next one because i was not gonna miss it and so the retreat ended, we were doing the closing ceremonies, we're laying in bed, just sort of like watching the Zoom. I think we were, did, were we eating pizza too, or, I think we, were or we ordered that. food or something, we're waiting for it. And they said my name and I screeched, like straight up screamed. Yeah. <laughs> and I just remember like, I was sort of out of body, right? Because I was like so excited, but I remember you jumping. Yeah, I was reading a magazine, an astronomy magazine, and I screamed, Ah. <laughs> and then the cat like jumps up at the bottom of the bed yeah. <laughs> it was a whole thing but oh my goodness I was oh. so excited and so the really fun part was they shared how many house points that I had accumulated over the course of the entire retreat and I had gotten 544 house points between the stash dives the digital dives fin retreat finishes um and the stitching challenges, as well as random pop-up posts, which I didn't mention, um, but it could be like a point or two or 10 if you responded to the posts that they put up within a certain time frame. So if it was like, share a Hufflepuff gift and you had 10 minutes to do it and I shared a Hufflepuff gift, I might've gotten two house points. So I can only imagine the spreadsheet that the Black Needle Society had to have for all 250 to 300 participants um, for all of these challenges. So like extra kudos for them for calculating all this stuff, for grading all of our posts. Because um, if mine alone was 544 house points across all those challenges, imagine how many house points we had earned in total for everyone it'd be crazy and a lot to keep track of it'd be a lot very expensive so but as a data analyst I, do um, I would love to see that spreadsheet because that is my jam <laughs> <laughs> all right so all that said oh our light just got really weird we should finally get to the unboxing yeah maybe <laughs> uh, maybe we we'll, had to set it up though yeah we have to explain like how i won and why I had won so many things by participating in literally everything. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot. So uh, this is the prize box, Ugh. which I almost just knocked you out. This almost had <laughs> its own gravity field. It's, <laughs> it's pretty big, it's heavy, and it's not moving. So I all I did was take the tape off, and it is still sitting here unopened, and I am so oh, ready. Man, this is going to be interesting. Oh, oh man. We should fix our shark. Look at uh, his little hands up. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, man. Oh, so, right. give a sneak peek of the film. 
Look at that. That is, it's to the brim. So when I was saying before that the Black Female Society is so generous, this is four prizes worth of generosity. And um, while I had won quite a bit, there were so many people that attended the retreat that did also win prizes. So they had, um, I'm going to say runner up MVPs, one for each house. But that wasn't, I don't think that was the exact name they termed up. So at least four prizes there. They gave a prize for the overall Quidditch team winners. So that whole team got prizes. Um, every stash dive and digital dive had a prize attached to it. And then they also did the pop-up prizes throughout the event. So there was so much that they gave out. And just, you pay to go to this retreat and you don't, you know, you're going to have an experience and you know, it's going to be amazing but you, you don't expect them to give back to you in the way they do because they, they definitely don't have to. They're hosting this retreat. They're curating the events. They're making it fun. Ooh, I almost lost a prize. And for them to go above and beyond and then continue to give back to you, it's just, I'm so grateful. So that said, let's get to it and I'll stop blabbering on. Um, I don't know what prize it, for the most part, I don't know what prizes went to which specific thing. Um, there's a couple that I know were specific to the MVP prize. And so when I know that I'll say it, but for the most part, we'll just kind of go through and share what we got. That's right. So the first is a cross stitch chart. It is Silver Creek Samplers Reaping Love. Oh no, what a glare. There we go. <laughs> and it says, yep, it says, I love you to death. It's got the initials, it's got the Grim Reaper. And the really funny part is I was going to buy this for you and stitch it, oh, but boy. now I almost want to make you stitch it for me. Because oh, yeah, I, I feel to. like the you Grim Reaper is, like, you would love that. It's got some crows and a oh, spooky skull. Yeah. Like, how fun. So then we've got some Harry Potter 3D stickers. And so some of the prizes, Athena from the Black Needle Society had actually gone to, um, you know, I think it's Universal Studios Harry Potter World and picked up the prizes in person there and brought them back with her to the Black Needle Society, which is extra cool because I've never been to Harry Potter World. We talk all the time about how we want to go. And so, you know, when the world goes a little bit back to normal, we're for sure going to go. Mm, um, so to get some things from there specifically, I'm thrilled. So here are the Harry Potter stickers. And they're all 3D. Hopefully there's not too much of that glare. But those are really cute. They've got they are cute. Wow. an itty bitty headwig. Is that on the screen? Yeah. yeah. Itty bitty headwig. Look at Luna. Oh man. So that's really cute. Wow. It's like so packed in here. I don't even know where to go. <laughs> Um, these two I want to save for last because those are specific to the MVP. Okay, this is in every flavor. Um, every flavor is it? Je no. Birdie bots. Birdie bots. I was gonna say Jelly Belly, and I was like, that's not the Harry Potter name for. It. <laughs> it's in every flavor being handmade pins, and these can absolutely. Oh, Hopefully that's focusing. When we're filming this, our screen is like really grainy. And then once we sort of hit like render and download, it fixes it. So if these aren't focusing, I'm really sorry. But we have Tutti Fruity, Booger, and Earwax. And they are pins, but they could so easily be made into needle minders, which I think is what I'm going to do. So those are really cool. And they feel, they look just like them. They really do. They're very realistic. I think the Black Needle Society, when they share that, they had found those on Etsy, I believe. If you had a pile of these on the counter, I would probably break my tooth trying to eat one. You 100% would. Yeah. <laughs> um, one of the things, the top slid off, so I'm trying to put that back on real quick. 
And so the next item is a sherbet, Levin, sherbet lemon scented soy candle. Oh, that smells good. Yeah. Oh, man. This is not for burning. This is for display. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. It's got like these pink pinstripes. It's got the little lemons on the top. And it's, I think the color's a little washed out. That's a little better. Look. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. Doesn't that smell? We have some very some Brock's lemon drop candies in the cabinet. Doesn't mm. that smell just like it? It does. I kind of want to go get one now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was really cute. I like the top. Yeah, I like the top too. And one of the prizes they had given out was a chocolate frog candle. And so instead of being the sherbet lemon, it was a different scent. And it had these little chocolate frogs on the top. It was really, mm. really cute. Next, we have a floss ring with Dumbledore and Fox. Oh, no, that glare is awful. There we go. There's there Dumbledore go. on a floss ring. Look at him. So sassy. That is a sassy Dumbledore. That is a sassy Dumbledore. He's even got his wand up. He's like, don't mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That is a sass. That is very sass. You might steal that from me. Sean right. likes the floss rings a lot. <laughs> yeah. um, the next item is a highlighter. So for all of the prizes that they gave out, they included highlighters because you never can have enough, as they said, you can never have enough highlighters when you have your stitching charts and whenever you're stitching something. And I 100% agree with that. So always excited to get a highlighter. The next item is, I'll take it out of the bag. It's a 32 count Phoenix linen from Picture This Plus, And it's an 18 by 27. Look at that. That is a really nice color. And like, honestly, I say 18 by 27, but really look. Look at that. Comparison. <laughs> <laughs> they they could have given you an eighth yard. They they really didn't have to. One, they didn't have to give you fabric at all. But then to give you such a nice large piece of fabric is incredible. I love the color. It's like yeah. I hope it's coming across on camera because it is red, red. Like can would you say candy apple red? Candy apple, not quite a crimson but definitely candy apple. Real, really bold, really beautiful. I wonder if that Grim Reaper would look good on here. Your Grim Reaper would look good. Yeah, that might know. be different. I think so. That one that what do you guys think? Because mm -hmm. you can totally change the heart to one other color. That's really, for the most part, the only red in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that might be really cool. Mm -hmm. we, can make the heart, we can make the heart black. No, no, that would be very know. much our style. <laughs> it would be if, if you're right in. All right. Well, you might be stitching on this uh, 32 right. count. Oh, man. I don't wanna, that's, a, that's a high honor. I don't want to like, besmirch the fabric. Well, you know, we got such a big piece, so we could for sure split it up across projects. All right. All oh, right. man. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> very nice color. Put that back. The next thing is a hands-on design chart. It's the 31st Black Party. So it says boo, eek, treat. And so it didn't include the pins, but that's totally fine. Um, I know my local shop still sells the pins. I have the other, most of the other blocks, and this is the one I was missing. So when uh, Katie pulled this out of the prize box or she put her hand in. It was really fun. Um, I was so excited that this was the one that was picked for me. And it comes with, oops, I, I totally lost our color, the fabric that goes on the top here. And I just realized I never did my nails and those look so bad. So don't judge me. We were in the pool all day and they totally chipped off. <laughs> <laughs> that was um, a cool pattern. I like that. 
right. Yeah, because we're we're currently stitching the block party. I'm stitching the cat, and he's stitching the puppies. The puppies. And so now we have the Halloween one, and Halloween's our favorite, so yes. that yeah. works out. Love it. The next thing is a Harry Potter scissor fob, and that's cute. He kind of looks like a zombie, but I'm okay with it. He's a little green. <laughs> Almost like Ron after he ate the slugs. I hope that's focusing. I think maybe that did it. Did it? Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to post pictures of all this stuff on our, my Instagram too, or Sanctum Stitching's Instagram. So if you don't follow us and you're interested, at Sanctum Stitching is where we post a lot between videos. But that's cool. And it's heavy. So I would love to put that on my scissor fob. Yeah, that would actually be. That's terrible. I will not let you steal this one from me. No. <laughs> no, you can't have it. Nope. <laughs> oh, wow. That does have weight to it. The next item mm -hmm. is a scarf. And first of all, I love black and I love scarves. So Sean can that. attest, I have too many scarves. And then I tend to only wear like the same two, even if I have a, a lot. Yeah. Because I, um, fun fact, I had traveled to Turkey when I was in undergrad. And when I was in Turkey, they had the pashmina scarf, like the real ones and um, I bought a ton when I was there and then I don't want to ruin them. So I don't wear them. <laughs> She's had them for like 15 years. I, whoa, look, whoa, whoa. I am not that old. <laughs> <laughs> and they look like they were just bought yesterday. Maybe. So. It's 2021. Okay. 11 years. That's insane. Yeah. Well, thanks, Sean. <laughs> but in your 11 years since I went to Turkey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like this just went downhill for me. <laughs> well, we can look in this box and we can well, see if there's well, a time turner in here somewhere. Just I, I need a time turner after that that <laughs> realization. Oh my goodness. Anyway, here's the scarf. <laughs> Anyways. It's oh wow. Okay. So this is I have it double folded. So it's really big. It's a really soft material. Let's see. And what it has on it is all the different spells. So it says Aguamente, Incendio, Expelliarmus, um, Wadi Wasi. I've never heard of that one. Does mm. anyone know what Wadi Wasi spell means? Because I would love to know. We might have to look that one up. But it is really pretty. And I like that it's Harry Potter, but it's also not in your face Harry Potter. So if I were to wear this to dinner or something like that, unless you were up close and really looking at it, you wouldn't know. You would just think it's a really cool black scarf. Yeah, I would agree. So I like that. So yeah. I feel like they made some really good choices of things that weren't gaudy, um, things that were really nice and things that you would want to wear. Okay, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> So the next is another scissor fob and it is, it's a scissor fob, orange and purple rose, gold, small spider. Oh, that's cool. I like the color scheme. I hope yeah. that's coming across. It was good to me. What's really funny is I have found a lot of the spider charms during the prompt, so that'll be a nice reminder for me. Okay. And I don't think it's showing, but some of these beads have like a a shiny raw um, gemstone look to them. It's really cool. Mm, yeah. We have another highlighter. Totally fine by me. Oh man. There is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight prizes left. Can you believe that? So across four different um, opportunities to win, we've got a lot, man. Oh, I'm so excited. The abundance. 
So if this is what I want for just four, four events um, or four opportunities, just think of how many things they were really giving away at this retreat because you could win for so many things. And if I can only win like a stash dive and a digital dive once, and that left so many opportunities for other people to have won things. And yeah. for when they were doing the... Um, the pop-up prizes. I think they gave like three to five prizes out just for that one pop-up. And that's just so generous. I thought that was very generous. I thought that was very versatile and the way that they handled it was very, you know, Mm -hmm. very generous. And all this stuff is not, not cheap things, you know, it's not. No, it's very good quality. Not some overstock website that they just ordered Mm -hmm. a whole bunch of, like it's all really nice curated things which this is going to sound like an infomercial for the black needle society but it's like their boxes whenever you get a box you don't feel like you've gotten cheap materials cheap items they're all um similar to this where you really feel like you're getting an experience and you feel like the items that you're receiving are worth what you're paying for them and i would also like to add that it's definitely something where like it has a lot of themes a lot of the prizes yeah, are, are similar to like the, like the birdie bots and also mm-hmm. it's just like if you're like reading the books and the movies and stuff it's definitely like, like a, sh- a sherbet lemon candle like come on i would never yeah. buy that for myself i would never think to look for that but now that i have it i can't believe we didn't have that before like it's so cool yeah it's like yeah of course we should have a sherbet lemon candle and i really honestly i really want to go find the chocolate frog one because i think that would be incredible oh god I might eat it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> our poor shark man he's having a hard night <laughs> oh, um so anyway the uh, next prize is another picture of this plus fabric it is a 28 count linen called alchemy and it is a piece of 13 mm-hmm. by 18 and we have a we have a fan running and so hopefully that's not too loud but every once in a while it like directs itself at our curtain and i hear the curtain rumble so I really hope that's not picking up for you guys. I and think it's fine. <laughs> you know, it's been hot. It's really hot here. It was in mid nineties today. Mid nineties today. Oh, yeah. we. Have... So another fun fact: we actually we spent a day in the pool, but both of us were holding umbrellas and we were laying on floats under normal rain umbrellas in the pool all day. Yeah. <laughs> And we were at his parent, Sean's parents' pool, so I'm so glad they weren't home because yeah. they would have 100% made fun of us that we're now officially old and don't sunbathe constantly and are in the pool under rain umbrellas. <laughs> I don't. We don't swim anymore. We we soak. We soak like a fine we, stew. Oh my god! We <laughs> in a cauldron. In the shade. In the shade. That's what we do. <laughs> that sounds like a Harry Potter potion. It does. Like though. Hermione's got that on lock. <laughs> yeah, she does. Oh my gosh. So um, that said, highly recommend if you want to go in the pool, don't want to be in the sun, take a rain umbrella. It really, really works. Mm-hmm. And it was awesome. <laughs> really good. So here's alchemy. Here's alchemy. <laughs> Look at that. I, I think it. it's coming across okay. It's kind of like a gray blue, lots of modeling. Yeah. Really pretty. And a, once again, it's not a small cut, it's not an ornament size. It's a a large, truly usable piece of linen from a very reputable source that they're giving to you. It's nice. Yeah, it looks <laughs> nice. Oh man, where should I go? Okay. The next one, this is fun. This is a Skelly Grow oh, man. <laughs> water bottle. That is cool. And so that is really cool. Let's see. I don't want to take it out totally, but it says bone regenerator when 1100 drops, Skelly Grow bona fide results every time. Skelly Grow for use by healers only. Look at that. Look at that face. Keeping that his mouth open. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> On the hand, the detail is just so nice. Yeah. 
Let's see. And it says on the back, screen accurate Skelly Grow bottle. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. We should not. I don't know if I want to use this to actually drink out of. Mm -hmm. I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to put it on the shelf somewhere. With our sherbet lemon candle. That's right. Sherbet lemon and but you know, one hundred percent, I will find him using this bottle. Uh, <laughs> if I do, please just only use water. Water, no pre-workout and coffee. Oh, definitely not coffee. Those are good. I love that though. I think that's, that's so very cool. Nice. Okay. Oh man. It keeps on going. Six more left. We're getting there. It keeps on going. So the next one is a needle minder, and I'm not sure who made it, but it looks, it kind of looks like our cat. Oh look gosh, it does look like Wally. That's our baby. That's baby. <laughs> um, when I was a kid, I had a cat and I used to always put her in like toddler clothes. And um, I just remember, I had this toddler strawberry dress and it had all the ruffles on it and strawberries all over it. And so poor Zena would have to be in it. And she sort of looked like this too. So that just reminds me of my childhood where I did put my cat in a ruffle dress and she was striped and very upset about it. This one looks pleased. Zena was not pleased. <laughs> Um, and it's wooden and it looks really sturdy and really nice. Isn't that cute? That is very cute. <laughs> it's got the glasses and the hat. I don't think I ever told you the ruffled cat dress story. I don't think I've ever heard you tell the ruffled cat story. Mm -hmm. but no. And then she was so patient though. She would hate it, but That's she'd be really patient. Cool. And I would put her in a baby stroller. And so she'd be in this ruffled dress in the baby stroller being pushed around the house. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can I get a better treatment than you did as a child, baby? I don't know. Like if I if I knew that all of our future pets are gonna have dresses, I'm gonna come home from work and expect them on a daily basis to be in dresses. I well. mean, our our current cat has a taco costume and a dino costume. So and it's about to get a snail costume. A snail. A snail costume. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We digress. <laughs> um, the next item is denoming spray. And I know this is from Lit Joy Crate. And it says, will not harm houseplants sprayed liberally over garden to subdue and disorient gnomes before relocation. Here's the box. It's really cool. Yeah. Oh, what a glare. There you go. We don't have a ring light, so we just have this giant five light thing and it doesn't always work with us but look at that that's cool it says you know? i really hope this is focusing because on our view it's not it says do you know me spray it's in this beautiful glass green bottle um that just looks so cool it pushes it feels nice. Oh man, we push that down. You feel like you're really. <laughs> you feel like you're really using it. That's so cool. It looks very sturdy, very well made. Can go next to the Skelly Grow. Yeah, it could. Yeah. I almost want to use it for like soap or something. Oh, How cool would that be in a bathroom? Oh, Isn't it nice? She knows me and likes pump bottles and spray bottles. So, yeah, that's, oh, man. It's going to be broken because he's just going to sit there like, oh, nice pump. Nice pump. Nice pump. <laughs> Here's the box for that. But that, it's real, it's heavy glass. It's very sturdy and very durable. So, once again, very they don't skimp out on the prizes that they're giving you. No, it's very nice and neat. The next item, so we have, we've officially emptied the box and I have a couple of things to the side here, mm -hmm. is a Hogwarts journal and the pages aren't lined and it's like, it feels like leather. I think it might actually be leather. It smells like leather. And it's got this really nice embossed. 
decal on it says Hogwarts. This is raised. And so I think you can kind of see it there. Look at that. And the edges have like a scallop to them. This is oh. really, really nice. That is a hard cover. And I, I'm sure this will be one of the things that I'm like, oh, I can't use it until I have the very perfect thing. And then it'll sit there and sit there. And then I'll write on the first page because this is my ammo. I'll write on the first page and I'll like miss up a word. And then I won't be able to use it because I don't want to ruin it any more than I've already just ruined. <laughs> this is accurate. Meanwhile, Sean, on the other hand, will just take a journal. And if he like messes it up, he like rips out the page. And yeah, you're not allowed near my journal. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> so you are not allowed near this, this beauty. Well, that looks sturdy. So, yeah. yeah, but do you think that's leather? It feels like leather to me. I'm going to say this is leather. Yeah, yeah, leather. That might be one of the, um, I think it's leather. Mm -hmm. That might be one of the prizes Athena picked up at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It just, it seems like one of the things that you would be able to find down there. And it's, it's very nice looking metal. Uh, emblem. It, it's nice. It's heavy too. Yeah, it's, it's very sturdy. weighty. That's cool. Very well done. Um, the next item is Trainway silks, and it is a set, a full set of silks that they had specifically made for them for this retreat. And so they are based on um, each of the house colors. And so for the overall house winners, so I was the overall MVP winner, but then they had a winner for each house. And so each, each of those people, they were able to win a set of silk that corresponds to their house. And so this is a 100% silk thread pack made specifically for the Black Needle Society. Um, Frogwarts, this is the Gryffindor one, and it is four skeins and 40 yards total. Let's see. And I won't read all the names, um, but I will definitely make sure you can see. We have like a pinkish, it's a little, this one, it's a little darker than it's showing up there. A gold, a burgundy red, and then a darker gold. So this one's a little more yellow, and this is definitely gold, gold, excuse me. Aren't those cool? Yeah, they are. Very nice. Pretty vibrant. They're really cool. And then as the MVP, and I can't remember if I just said this. It's it's getting late. We've been filming this video for a while. For a little, for a little. Oh man. Um, so hopefully you've been sticking around and are enjoying yourself. Um I was able to get a thread pack for each of the four houses, which is absolutely amazing. So for Ravenclaw, we have three different shades of blue and then like a coppery bronze. And every time I show you an item, I stare at my nail polish. I'm like, oh, I should have fixed that. So we're going to film a whip parade uh, probably tomorrow, maybe the next day. And I'm going to, I'll have to make sure I do my nail polish because I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the Slytherin pack. We have three different greens and then like a bluish gray, more like a silver, like a silver blue gray. What do you think of these? I think they're very vibrant. I think they look very full. They feel nice. They feel very nice. Very, very nice. I always love the silk. Did I say the name of it? Yeah. So in case I didn't, it's Trainway Silks was who made them for them. Based out of Colorado, Lakewood, Colorado. Yeah. I think they're very Which nice. how cool that they even, just for their prizes, reached out to a company to specifically make Items related to the retreat. That's just so cool. That are locally made in the USA. I think that was very, very well done. Mm -hmm. And then, so the last color is Hufflepuff. I am a Hufflepuff, so I'm extra excited about this one. And so it is a gold, a yellow, a um, like a dark gray, and a black. And all of these together, it's what a set. Yeah. 
There we go. Oh, wow. man. Look at all those colors. Yeah. Cover it up, Slytherin. <laughs> well, you know. Athena's going to come for you. She <laughs> is a proud Slytherin. <laughs> Gryffindor in the house. Well, you know, we're we're living the Hufflepuff life today because Hufflepuff came through and got all this help. Dominated. All right. So all you right. and your little Gryffindor can go over there. <laughs> you can fall back behind the couch with the shark. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that. So generous. Once again, they could have they didn't have to give any of it. They could have given one set. They did not need to give, and I'm so glad they did all four houses and then to give an additional set away of each house color to the MV, to the house um the house cup winners so cool very cool can you put those back in there I'm gonna do that. okay we're, we're making it two left so the next one is really really special to me um this is handmade by athena of the black needle society and it is a t-shirt that shows that I won a Frogwarts year two. And so Athena, um, before I show you the shirt, she has her own business where she makes um, cross stitch themed t-shirts and they're, they're made to order. You can pick the color shirt you want. You can work with her to um, have the shirt say the cross stitch things that you want on her Facebook group. It's, um, stitching goddess designs. Stitching goddess. Design. That sounds right. Um, stitching goddess designs on Facebook, and if that's totally wrong, Athena, please correct me, and I will update in the description down below. But I'm pretty sure I got it. And the shirts are so cool. She just came out with one that says, um, "I competitively cross stitch." And for anyone that has attended a Black Needle Society retreat, you know competitive cross-stitch is real. It is an event. And when that hour starts, or that two hour starts, depending on the retreats, you are silent in the zone and you are getting your stitches in. So I need to go order that shirt. That's right. <laughs> so this is the one that Athena made for me. It says the date, it's in an embroidery hoop. It has the Hogwarts castle. Um, we have the chocolate frogs and it says, I won your two frogworts. Got the needle, a threaded needle and a wand and it is in the Hufflepuff colors. And uh, it means the world to me that this was included in a prize and 100% I will be wearing this at the next retreat. And I think they're talking about maybe possibly for the final year having a reunion um, for anybody that wants to go that's been to the previous ones. Don't quote me on that. And if I'm totally wrong, then I'm wrong. Um, but it would be if that does end up happening, which obviously would be years from now. So like no promises. Um, if that did end up happening, that would be so cool because then if the winners from each year went, we could all wear our shirts and I know Athena has a, a shirt from year one. And so it'd be so cool to all line up together and show off like who won for each year. Yeah, And if me. at the very least, Athena, I, we already know this cause I want to meet you in person. Um, whenever we are able to make that happen, we should totally wear our shirts and at least just get the photo of the two of us in our, our winter shirts. Cause that would be awesome. That'd be really cool. And, um, the shirt is a Gideon heavy cotton and it just, it feels really nice and sturdy. And the oh, yeah. printing on here is perfectly done. And like, you know, when you get some printed t-shirts, they kind of like chip a little bit and they look, they don't look as fresh. This one looks totally awesome. And so Athena, you did an amazing job yeah. curating this shirt for me. Excellent job. You can't have it. I will you did not win. That you don't no, get to I did not earn <laughs> and so the very last item i this is another so i through when they were showing the prizes throughout the whole retreat that i was winning i was overjoyed and i said that before but when this one showed up i was shocked because this is absolutely amazing it's not gaudy but it is harry potter and it is perfect for a cross-stitch retreat weekend. 
Oh, man. oh yeah, I saw this and I was like, wow. I lost it when <laughs> they said that I won this item. Um, and I think like after the call ended and we were talking about when I was still screeching that I had won, I kept talking about this item over and over and over again. And like the next day I was like, I won this. Can you imagine? And Sean's like, I'm tired of hearing about it. <laughs> but in person, like now, do you get it? No, I get it. Okay. So we should finally I show it. This is a Vera Bradley Harry Potter collection tote bag. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That's the real deal. Look, the size of it. It's not a teeny bag. It, it's not like a little pouch. It is this a giant Harry Potter bag. You could fit a Hedwig in this. I want to fit a Hedwig in this. Yes. Shall we? <laughs> that, there we go. Now you know. <laughs> <laughs> that poor shark. The poor shark. He cracks us up constantly because he looks so aggravated. All the, time. all the time always shocked always offended but like just to show you the size of this thing it's big it really is wow well, we've really moved him around today yeah but the pattern it's got a zipper pocket it has a side pocket it of course has the big pocket but the big pocket has all the side pockets on it um and let me see if i could show you a good example of the fabric. We've got a headwig on there, chocolate frogs, golden snitch, the crest um, emblem. There's a time turner. We found the time turner. Oh, so yeah. I can turn back to I was not <laughs> 11 years ago when I went to Turkey. Um, the Harry Potter's glasses, a remembral. We've got the key from the one room. Oh, the Chamber I see of Secrets. The sorting hat. Um, but I love it because unless it's once again, just like the scarf, unless you were really looking at it, you would think this is just this beautiful floral bag. And it's like, nope, joke's on you. It's a Harry Potter bag. And I love that. It's quite subtle. It's quite subtle. And it's uh, really sturdy. It looks very durable. Oh, it's even got a secret little mini pocket here between the zipper and the inside for your phone. Bonus. Perfect size. Bonus. Oh, man. And so the Ooh. inside has another fabric. Hopefully that's coming across okay. We have the emblem. And so it's all the little icons that are hidden within the floral print here, just sort of all spaced out. Oh, oh man. That's big. <laughs> you know that? That's big. I can't wait to use this. I want to fill it up with cross stitch. I want to go to a Black Needle Society retreat while wearing my t-shirt, carrying this bag, got my scarf on, and I am ready to competitively Ooh. cross stitch. <laughs> you will. Definitely do that. Oh man, look at that thing. So we emptied the box, guys. We did it. Wow. It's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> like honestly just speechless um every we've said it throughout this everything curated is so nice things you wouldn't think to get but like as a prize they're so cool and this is just sort of the tip of the iceberg because pe other people won prizes and they were totally different and hopefully those people will share their prizes and the things they won as well because and they're all just so cool. Yeah. So on that note, we have definitely rambled on for way too long. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you so much, Black Needle Society. Um, you're so generous. You're so kind. And I will 100% be back for the next retreat. Maybe Sean will do it. That might be a little tough. Two competitive cross stitchers and one household. Oh. I know they, they had a couple that um, was competing. And I remember the husband was like, I just want to know if I beat my wife. I don't care 
if I won. That's I don't exactly care if I, <laughs> I don't care if um, I won a prize. I just want to know between my wife and I, which one of us got the most house points. Who has the, the bragging rights here? Yeah. Yes. So I feel like that's something we would do. Yeah. And like, sorry to burst your bubble, but. I'm not going to get the shawl. Or no. Uh, well, I'm trying to get to this t-shirt. Okay. Like, sorry to burst your bubble, but I was the year two winner. So if you really want to competitively cross stitch in this household. I've got to earn that shirt. That's what I have. I feel like I'm not worthy. I mean, there's a whole separate like as a as a person who was on the outside looking at this contest and my wife's stitch is just like like you, there, you got to put in some work. You got to plan. You have to commit to all of the events. You got to commit to finishing things mm-hmm. and planning out so you can get the stitches on projects that will meet the prompts. Mm-hmm. Because if you're if you're not doing all those things, and there are people that are, there's lots of people that competed in every single event. Um, it's going to be harder, but totally not impossible to win a prize because they have the pop-up prizes. They have the prizes for specific events. So you don't need to compete in everything. If you're really good at the stash dives and you want to win and you end up winning one of those stash dives, you get a prize. And that's so awesome and so cool. And the prizes for those things aren't, aren't cheap and they're not, um, they're not, what's the word? Um, they're not like a minimal project. Um, I'm totally butchering this. It is now late. <laughs> they're not like a minuscule prize for winning that stash dive or that digital dive. It's a really like solid, I won and I won this really cool thing for that one event. And I just, I think it's so cool. Right. And I also want to add is like, they're very, it's very well designed. I think the whole entire contest and the actual uh, stitching experience was well organized. I think it's really cool to see a group of people come together and share their love for something like Harry Potter mm-hmm. and also be able to uh, have a community based upon that. So yeah, absolutely. I thought it was really, really like I just saw her the entire time and she was so into it. I took off and, work the whole time, and right? I oh man! <laughs> and I was like, "All right, what's what's the, what's the next challenge?" And she's like, "Well, can't talk. Got to post my photo with the password." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh," mm-hmm. but I think it's very well designed and just very well organized as well. So. Yeah, absolutely. And if Harry Potter's not your thing, they have other retreats as well. So I know they just wrapped up the Gilmore Girls retreat, which I'm pretty sure is going to have three additional retreats, one for each season or one for each season, like fall, winter, spring um, themed of the Gilmore Girls. So and then they also have, um, was there a night garden or up all night stitching? So they have different retreats that aren't exactly for a fandom. Um, so you still you if you can find a retreat that fits your interests and i'm telling you you won't be disappointed if you attend a black Mm -hmm. needle society retreat i don't think so i think you'd be very proud that you made the investment because clearly there's a love and there's uh, and they want to give back to you too exactly it's it's so nice to find a company that appreciates you as an attendee of their retreat and not just okay, I'm going to give you exactly what you paid for and we're going to host a retreat. Like they went above and beyond and we could keep going on. So we should probably end it. That's correct. So on that note, I won Frogwarts here too. This is Sanctum Stitching and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, P.S. Stay tuned to our channel for an October probably a week or two, Marianne and I, who Marianne is my usual co-host on Sanctum Stitching. Her and I will be back to film our normal monthly floss tube video. And so we hope to see you there. Bye for real. Bye. <laughs>